Oh my god. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just dreamt the house was gone. Oh. I'm still here. Oh my. I'm sweating. Oh. Oh. oh, wait a minute. The cows, the chickens. I dreamt they were gone. <laughs> huh, chickens are still here. Cows are here. Okay. What a nightmare. Oh my god. Oh. oh, my blood's pumping now. Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and welcome back to Humble Beginnings on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. This is episode 10. Well, I guess I better go back to bed. So yesterday after I left you, I cleaned up the rest of the trees that we had knocked down and I ran them over and sold them. I also went to the shop and picked up nine pallets of trees baby trees to plant. I figured we'd need to get some more on the ground since I decided to cut down the rest of the trees that we had available. So here we are, the morning after the nightmare. Oh, last night was terrible. Couldn't sleep, so I got up at the crack of dawn and we started planting the trees that we bought yesterday. Decided to put them up here by the house. Put them in straight lines. One pallet each. And we can kind of watch them grow. So, planting nine pallets of trees will give us 18 trees that we can cut down. That should last us for a little while. I am ready for my morning constitutional. And then maybe I'll take a break and have a glass of water. All right, well, now we need to look into seeding some fields since it's finally warm enough. One thing I did learn was that it's not warm enough here to plant canola. I should really take this tractor and trailer back up to the store. Meh. The old ladies up there, they know that. It'll be all right here. So we need to see if little red here can pull the cedar. Whoa, I almost hit my head. There we go. Nope, so far so good. We're not popping a wheelie. Alright, let's see. We need to select it to say wheat. Alright. 
right. And let's get over here. Alright, so we need to unfold it. We need to put an arm out. We need to start it up. That revs the engine. And we need to turn it on, or set it down. Alright, let's see if we can plant a row of wheat. See if I can drive a straight line, my goodness. All right. Can't see a thing. Hey, that looks good. All right. Well, let's continue on. I need to put the arm back out. Turn it on. Lower it down. There we go. So yeah, it's uh it's too cold up here in the hills to grow canola. So I need to find another crop. And I don't know right off what I want to do. I'm sure I can do soybeans. Well, I hope I can do soybeans. Corn. I'm sure I can do barley and oats. But to start with, we'll just do the wheat for the chickens. And I need to plant some grass so that I get a good crop to make silage. Although, I'll have to look into using crops to make silage. I've never done that before. But we'll just start with, we'll start with what I know, we'll do grass to begin with. Well, at the risk of jinxing myself, this is going quite well. I'm just so excited, it's finally warm enough. It's not warm enough to plant con uh, soybeans or corn yet. So, we won't be able to do that yet. But I don't know that we need to do that this year. I'm not sure. We need to we need to get some silage. So the front two fields, or I guess it's only one field. I never did plow up the right side. The field up front, I think I'm going to go ahead and make grass. And that should produce us 
enough to make silage. And then the field to the right where we chop down the trees. Maybe I'll put soybeans in that. Put soybeans in there and see if we can sell them. I'll have to find out from the store if they know if somebody around here buys soybeans. I'm sure they do. line didn't get drawn very straight. We're getting close to being done. We might have gone too far forward. Nope, that's good. I just keep the groove of the hood of my tractor right down the groove in the dirt keep me centered up on the ground you know like a couple times I didn't get quite to the end of the field. But it'll be alright. I think we'll have plenty. Especially since the chickens don't eat much. Alright, we're going to go down the center since there are two grooves. That's kind of weird. Pretty close to the end. Let's lift that up. Make sure that one didn't go down. And I don't think it's going to reach all the way across. We're going to have to make one pass coming back again. It does look funny over there without any of those trees. Whoops. I looked away and I started drifting. Darn it. Yeah, I think I still got everything. Alright. And one pass down here and we'll be done with this field. go. Now, I think I missed... Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I think I missed a couple spots on the ends, but... Ah, it's not bad. Alright, so... Well, I 
I was wondering if we should think about doing some weed management since there's so many weeds out here but I will worry about that once we get this planted in grass we're gonna plant this over here all grass and that'll produce us a lot this will be grass right there we could make some silage right away So, let's put that arm down. And let's pick grass. We don't want to plant wheat. There we go. And we'll put it down. I hope it doesn't put wheat right there where we were started, but oh well. Now, in theory, I'll be able to just drive around in circles, and when I get back to where my arm is down, leaving the groove, we'll just keep making a tighter and tighter circle. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that on the corner. I'm still learning how to do this. I will have to touch up my starting or ending point, however you look at it, when I get done. Oh, this is kind of tough because the line jumps. So I guess what I could do, I really don't need to leave a line. All I need to do is drive with my wheel on the edge of what's planted. So, let's lift this up, make sure that didn't go down, it did, alright, alright, we're just going to drive and put the tire on the edge of what we planted, we'll have a little overlap, but it should work. Okay, well, I'm going to continue on with this, and we'll do a little time lapsey on it, and I will see you when we finish.
There we go. I think Little Red and the Cedar did a pretty good job. Missed one little spot here. And at the beginning. Boy, that nightmare I had last night was weird, but if the cows are... Yeah, chickens look all right. Okay, well... I think I'm going to hold off planting this field. until until we decide what to plant back this over here oh I got that kind of dirty let's lower it down and unhook it okay well that has been a very productive morning my goodness Okay. I don't know if I checked the cow's water this morning. Nope. It's almost still full. We don't need to fill it then. Since we've got time and we're not in a rush for anything, let's go ahead and fill the water tank back up. I suppose we've got to check the chickens as well. If the cows took that much water, that means probably didn't check the chickens either. There we go. off of this, I'm going to hit barbed wire. How's that? We don't want to leave it here anyway. Let's park it down closer to the house. That way it's off the road. And let's let's give it a little wash here. Clean tractor is a happy tractor, right? All right. Yeah, let's we'll just leave it right there. Okay, I need to look into weed control. We don't have anything in here for weed control. That's our lime. Cultivator. Plow. 
fertilizers in there. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that this tractor is dirty. Yeah, we need to we need to clean this up. And while we're in a cleaning mood, let's go get the cultivator. Oh, and run over it, and hopefully we didn't damage it. Yeah, that's dirty. I keep jumping up on top of this. Oops, a little too close there. Old Massey's done a lot of log trips up and down the road. There we go, nice and clean. And let's get this. My goodness, that's pretty nasty. Wow. Stubborn spot on the wheel, but that looks better. Looks like we got a little bit of grime on the lift. Not too bad. Alright, that looks a lot better. Alright, well, we're going to have to make sure we don't drive through the fields now that we've planted. Plow's a little dirty, but we'll get that later. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to eat some lunch, I think. I was going to head the Steyr back up to the store and get the old lady but we'll do that right after lunch and we'll do some shopping and see what we can find as far as a weed sprayer so i'm gonna have some lunch and i will see you in a little bit lunch is done now all i need to do is stay awake before i forget we need to fertilize our wheat field. Whoops. Whoa. All right. I like how wide this sprays. Makes 
fertilizing easy. Down the center and we're done. All right, I think that should do it. Did I miss this end? Yeah, it looks covered. All right. We need to get that styre back up to the store in case the forestry department starts looking, looking for their equipment. We're going to hit. Nope. All right. Oops. Can't see that side now. Can't see it over there either. I think I'm good. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we'll park the old Massey back over here. Kind of its home. All right, let's go up to the store. Drop off the styre. Pick up the old lady. And first thing I want to look for ask about is a sprayer. I want to be able to spray the weeds. Do some preemptive so we don't get weeds in our field. And second item I want to look for, or second group of items, is a mower and baling equipment and a wrapper to do silage. The cattle can eat hay, but if I wrap it and we have extra, we could sell it and make some more money. That's always a good thing. We need to make sure we have enough for them to eat through the winter, though, because the older they get, the bigger they get, the more they eat. And the more they eat, the bigger they get, the more they eat. You get the idea. I'm also going to ask about a corn planter. Corn slash sunflower. I think they can both be done with the same planter. Not to do right away, but down the road I think we might want to look into getting some pigs. Oh, looky here. They put some gravel down. Looks like they overestimated how much they needed. But they'll spread it out. They'll use it all, I'm sure. We need to get this back around the side of the building. Where it's normally kept. Out of the way. Let's see if I can back this up without jackknifing it. I think I did pretty good, except I might have hit the fence a little hard. Ah, it's still straight. Okay, I'm going to go in and talk to them. Uh, wow, they're getting ready to build. That's the expansion for the animal dealer. I wonder what they're putting up. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go find out about a sprayer and baling equipment. And I will get back to you in just a minute. Hello. Oh, boy. Do you see our money total? Or lack of money total? Oh 
Well, here we go. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. Oh. I didn't buy any herbicide. I got to go back in and talk to them. Well, I'm in trouble. Herbicide is $2,400 a jug. I'm going to have to cut down a couple trees just so I can fill my herbicide sprayer up. Because I bought too much stuff. Well, maybe they'd take the tether back. I'm going to ask them if they'll take the tether back. Just so we can spray today. Okay, well, they didn't take back the uh, the tether, but they did take back the windrow so that we could get the herbicide. That was lucky on my part. I told them, don't worry about it. I'll be back to buy it anyway because it's going to be a requirement. And obviously, we did not have enough money to buy the baler and what was I gonna say lost my train of thought oh oh uh, the wrapper is out of the question yeah I can't pick anything with the old lady so we'll have to go up get the tractor and come back so yeah the baler that we're going to get is smaller than normal. That's all we have the horsepower for. And as it stands, we're going to have to increase the horsepower of Little Red so that we can run the mower. So, anyway. Not quite what I had planned. That cost a lot of money, so I'm going to have to find a tree or two to cut down again. Good thing we planted trees this morning. That way we've got credit on the books to, to cut down more trees. Let's see here. What do I want to drive up to? get everything. I think Little Red drives faster than anybody else. Oh, well, I've got to get those bars out of the back of the old lady, but we can do that later. Oh, I should have put the herbicide in there. Oh, I'm not thinking at all today. All right. Well, let's grab a little red. And I'll start shuttling some equipment back and forth. And I will see you when we get... Well, actually, I'm going to bring the sprayer back first. I want to get the field sprayed before too long. But I guess I'll have time. I'll get all the stuff back to the farm here and then I'll be back with you again. See you in a bit. Did I mention that I needed to upgrade the engine and the tractor as well? I might have forgot to say that. Yeah, they said that it has to be a minimum of 60 horsepower. Whoops, they wanted me to turn it off. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Extra horsepower, please. Give me an upgrade. 52 horsepower, 60 horsepower, or 67 horsepower. I told him to go with the 67 horsepower. No sense running her too lean. 
Yeah, they told me I should come back at 5 o'clock. It's going to take them the rest of the afternoon to get the work done. And to go ahead and use the forestry tractor to run myself home if I need to. I hope you enjoyed this long overdue episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.